greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and all of you are welcome. A very warm welcome from your pastor Yeti. In the secret place, we are together in Psalm 107. Testimony of Redemption. Our key verse for today is, Let them give thanks to the Lord for His loving kindness and for His wonders to the sons of man. This repeated theme is predicated on the instructions of verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Those who have been redeemed should readily bear testimony and confess that they have been saved by the grace of God. Four times we are told to give thanks to the Lord for His loving kindness and for His wonders to the sons of man. Whereas in other passages we are reminded to remember His miraculous deeds and acts of power this seems to be a specific reference to the wonder of his salvation and mercy that he has made available to man. The context is obviously the redemption that God provided to Israel, but it is also a picture of the lostness of those without Christ. Verse 10 and 11 describes the lost as those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoners in misery and chain. Jesus, Jesus spoke of himself as the light of the world and those who were separated from him as living in darkness apart from the light. Those who have not redeemed are literally walking dead men. Though they have physical life, they abide under the penalty of death in the bondage to sin. We were all at one time under bondage and in chain to the sin nature. The reason is because we had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High. Failure to live according to the word of God is the, to transgress. His law and his way, sin is the deliberated choice to follow our own way rather than the righteous guidance and counsel of the Lord. Isaiah 53 verse 6 describes it as, All of us like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. But the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. Romans 3 verse 23 helps us to re-understand the reality of sin in explaining that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We should not think of sin simply as what we have done. That is contrary to God's law. But it is the fact that we fall short of God's holiness and standard of righteousness that makes us sinners. Ephesians 2 verses 1 to 3 paints a graphic picture of our lostness apart from Christ. We were dead in our trespasses as sins, walked according to the course of this world, according to the spirit of disobedience, living in the lusts of our flesh. The scriptures goes on to portray the lost as without hope and alienated from God. It is no wonder that the psalmist repeatedly exhorts us to give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of man. How does one experience deliverance from sin and redemption from our lostness? There is another repetitive expression found in verses 6, 13, 19. And 28. They cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He delivered them out of their distresses. 
Salvation comes only when one acknowledges his sin and cries out to the Lord. Until we confess our need and recognize our own inability to overcome sin, it is unlikely we will come to the Lord in repentance. But when we do, He delivers us from the adversary, satisfies our thirsty soul, claims the storm and turmoil in our life, and guides us as a ship into a haven of peace and rest according to his purpose. Come with me in my prayer moment. Lord, how thankful I am that you have heard my cry of repentance and saved me from sin. I was repeated from you, I mean, I was separated from you and helpless. With your mercy and grace delivered and saved me. Let me never be ashamed to testify of your loving kindness and redemption. My dear ones, we are so lucky people. We have all the abundance that God gave to us. The abundant blessing of His, the promise He gave to us, the life, a life in you, and the guidance, the Holy Spirit dwells in us, always with us, always counseling to us, bringing our own voice to the voice of His. It's amazing. It is simply abundance. May God bless your heart and may you found that haven of rest in your God, Christ, who died for you and for me, giving back the glory and glorify him for his wonderful deeds he gave back to us and still is doing. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your pastor Yeti. Bye.